Investors often allocate to fixed income as a way of sidestepping or avoiding volatility, right, that they might be experiencing in other asset classes. Uh, last year, unfortunately, we saw significant volatility in fixed income. Tony, you're expecting there to be less volatility this year. Explain why. Well, first, um, 2022, in the historical context, is an anomaly. Remember, there were 18 trillion of negative yielding bonds in the world, and we simply were moving away from that regime. And the history of interest rates is a lot different. So we've normalized, so to speak. But the main reason to expect lower interest rate volatility in 2023 versus 2022 is because the forecast miss for central bank interest rates is likely to be far lower. So for example, for the Federal Reserve, market participants, along with the Fed itself, were projecting that the Fed would end its policy rate at around 1% uh, at the end of 2022. Of course, the result turned out to be almost four points higher than that, with markets now priced for 5% policy rate. So what are the odds that the markets get it wrong by a four points again? We think low, mainly because inflation, the inflation rate seems likely to be moderating based on three pressure points, and I call them the three Fs of tightening. Number one, the Fed. Secondly, fiscal. There's uh, certainly some fiscal contraction occurring now, or I should say much lower stimulus than we had certainly post-pandemic. And third, financial conditions, tighter because of higher interest rates, lower stock prices, wider credit spreads. Those three pressure points should reduce the inflation rate, along with, of course, some post-pandemic related supply chain moderation, and thereby uh, enable the Federal Reserve and other central banks to take a break. Now, what if we're wrong about interest rates again? Perhaps it'll be a half point or a full point where the policy rate ends at six. It's difficult for us to imagine between the Fed funds rate change and quantitative tightening, by the way, uh, meaning uh, the, the Fed reducing its balance sheet by shedding the securities it bought during the pandemic, all should work uh, the magic, so to speak. And so we'd say the expression, don't fight the Fed today, has a different meaning from a year ago. Don't fight the Fed a year ago meant uh, run for the exits. This year it means believing in its uh, longstanding ability to control the inflation rate and to control interest rate volatility in the long run. Love it. So let me get this straight. Higher starting yields, lower volatility, that really supports the case for why bonds today. Especially because it means, therefore, that today's yields, which are above the 20-year average and roughly in line to slightly above the 30-year average for bond yields, based on major indices, look relatively attractive compared to historical volatility. And we're going to use historical volatility as our base case for the years ahead.